modular, flip up, flip front, flip face, flip top, whatever you want to call it. Chances are, if you own one of these helmets, you're probably also an uncle. And you probably also never leave the house without a toolkit. Hey, Mr. Light Mode, maybe you should tone down the sarcasm for the slightly older demographic that's going to be watching this video. But there's so much to poke fun at. That's like asking me to sit in a gingerbread house and not lick the walls. We all know that modular helmets are practical. They're not usually known for their cool aesthetics. But today, we're going to change that. So park your touring bikes, unzip your textiles, because today, I'm showing you three ways to illuminate a modular helmet. So obviously the tricky part to light molding a modular helmet is this part. The, the chin part, when it flips up, you can't stick a light mode strip along here. Uh, I'm explaining this very poorly. Let's try that again. So let me just put on my GoPro strap on. Oh, I'm running over my, my wires here. Okay, so here we got three light mode kits. We're gonna be putting each one onto this helmet. This is the Harley Davidson Capstone Modular or something like that. Honestly, it's just an HJC IS Max 2 that has been rebranded and $60 basically added onto the price of the HJC. So if you're gonna get this helmet, just get the HJC one and pocket the 60 bucks. So we got the purple blades here, we got the green grids, and we got the red Evo. So we're gonna start with the purple blades, find out how we can attach this to the modular helmet. There was actually one customer already that uh, we shared on Instagram. Oh, I'm f***ing this up. Um, you know what, just... So one customer on Instagram installed his blades on his modular helmet, I think kind of like this. I'll show you guys. Kind of went like that and it looked pretty cool and uh, it's pretty clean install you don't have to do it down here the only thing you got to do is if you if you stick it like this you got to make sure that the chin part has enough clearance to flip up and over here you can see this clearly has tons of clearance hey Juan cue the music okay, my friend, I think you're gonna like All right guys, so here's the purple blade on the modular helmet. I ran the light strip underneath here and around. Same with this side. Kind of went around here and then up here. And by doing that, it kind of tucks away the wires a little nicer than rather just plugging it in here and then running it like this. A little big on me, but I just want to show you guys what it looks like from different angles. There you can see my bad posture. And then they just open it up. Lots of clearance up top. So yeah, that's a pretty simple install. We'll move on to option three, which is gonna be the green grid next. So now we're gonna install the green grids. We're uh, not gonna touch the controller and all the other accessories. We're just gonna use the same controller and mount that's already on the helmet here. Time to get peeling and sticking. <laughs> Almost had a little Ru rock accident there. Oh shit. <gasps> All right, 
Let's turn the lights off, see how it looks. All right, here is option number two in green. Just gonna put it on real quick for you guys. There you can see the front and the side. I kind of like this design better than the blades. It's a little more intricate. It reminds me more of Tron. There, it flips up, no problem, up and down. And the back. So yeah, another easy option, two light strips, but we're gonna move on to option number three now, which is my favorite, it's the Evo kit. I'm gonna show you guys how we can put four lights on this modular helmet next. Clean slate once again. So here's the red Evos. You can find these kits linked in the description below if you want to order one for yourself. Okay, so normally we put, oh, we put the long light strips on the bottom and we put the short light strips on the top. For the modular helmet, we're doing the opposite. So we're gonna put the long strip on the top and then we're gonna put the short strip on the bottom, kind of like this. So basically you just don't want to stick the light strip onto the part that flips up. That's the only thing you're trying not to do. All right, here is the red Evo on the modular helmet. This is by far my favorite one so far. I mean, obviously it has more lights. I think it just fits the shape of the helmet way better than the other two. There we have it on my head. Front view, tilted down slightly. Side view, the back. And then if you flip it up, this is how it looks. Uh, so yeah, all three kits come in six colors. There's red, aqua, blue, white, green, and purple. This particular kit comes with a template that you can print out, cut the shapes out, and stick the shapes to your helmet to test fit before you buy. I haven't made a template for the other two kits yet. I gotta get on that pretty soon. Well, looks like I got to it sooner than I thought. You can now download and print templates to all three kits. Links are in the description below. And if you'd like to order, you can also find the links to buy in the description below as well. Hmm. Cliff bar is pretty good.